Um, and through the light that comes through, you can see there is a large four-post bed of like grown, twisting vines and root. Uh, and there, kind of resting, propped up, the familiar red, falling, curled hair, and uh, kind of antlers adorning the front of a laying keyleth. Uh, Lita steps forward to the edge and kind of grasps in the hand of Keyleth and goes, Tempest, Orem has come with his compatriots and they wish to speak with you. And Keyleth kind of sits up and, <clears throat> please come. There's much to discuss. I take a few quick steps forward and, and take a knee and bow. Yeah, oh, yeah. Do, that we all do that too. We all do. Try to do that. And sort of fall down because I don't have a knee. You step forward and get a better look at her, and you can see, like she, the wounds that she sustained in that battle remain. And while there is no blood visible, the flesh looks freshly carved. You can see all manner of gashes across her neck and shoulders and her face, and it's just this bright red flesh exposed in each of these open wounds. It's horrifying. Um, and you watch as she leans forward, as each one shifts, she kind of winces. Oh. I shoot a look to Lita in the back. She kind of gives a, a nod and grabs and squeezes your shoulder a bit. Kill goes, my, my staff, please. And Lita goes and grasps and pulls this long, beautifully carved, kind of rune-covered staff. Tempest, what happened? The assassin uses the same toxin that once found its way to our village. It doesn't have a historical precursor we can pinpoint. And I barely sustained an injury the last time, but we all lost much in the shadow of that day. We were able to recover, but only after finding a challenged remedy, and unfortunately not in time for those we had already lost. 